All right, this person you were dealing with got me aggravated right now. I mean, this person is the lowest of the low. And you were dealing with this person for at least a third of your life. And this person, had they showed up as their true self from day one, I guarantee you, you would have never spent an hour with this person because this person is lame, dull, dry, no personality, corny, no sense of humor. But the way they got you hooked was by mirroring you. Unfortunately, you didn't know what mirroring was back then because you had no one to tell you about it. But whatever you did and whatever you said, this person mirrored it back to you. And what did you think? Oh, wow. I have a lot of things in common with this person. Or we have a lot in common. No. You didn't. They were mirroring you. You, you, you started to think that they were a lot like you. No. They were just acting like you. They were deceiving you. They were deceiving you. Oh, your favorite color is brown? So was theirs. Your favorite movie was My Cousin Vinny? So was theirs. You believed in God? So, so did they. But they didn't. They didn't believe in God. And for the longest, they didn't believe in God. Now, now they're kind of agnostic because of you. Because although you walked away from them, they've been stalking you like a psychopath. This person is your number one fan. This person got out of that lame personality by adopting yours throughout the years. And you know what pisses me off? What pisses me off is how you always displayed your brilliance and this person saw your brilliance but still chose to play with you. I will never understand some people. This person knew you were woke as fuck, meaning you pay attention. You you see things for what it is, right? And they still try to play with you, thinking you're not going to figure and you know figure them out. So they had you fooled at the beginning, but towards the end You told them to go kick rocks. And they begged you to work it out. And you said, get the fuck out of here. I'm done with you. I'm done. I I see your wicked intentions. I see you. And I don't want to deal with you no more. You showed me who you really are. This person, I mean, this person has mental problems. Real mental problems. And anybody who spends time with this person is affected negatively. This person is a mess. This person honestly was nothing without you. But they're so freaking delusional that they thought you were nothing without them. I mean, the the fucking nerves of this person. The nerve of this person. I really, really... It bothers me. It bothers me. And this person really thought they were a know-it-all. And they were they were so arrogant. And I'm pretty sure they told you at least one time that they even admitted that they have a big ego. They told you straight up. This person has narcissistic personality disorder. This person is not normal. This person actually needs medical help. This person really needs medical help. This person is an attention seeker. This person has really... A lot of insecurities. And they projected the insecurities on you. They tried to tear you down every chance they could. I mean, I don't know, guys. I'm I'm done with this. I'm done with this person. But anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know that the book uh, in my bio, 
uh, which is called City of Serpents, and it has a red cover, it will not be reprinted once my current stock is sold out. And that's because I have a second edition that's uh, going to be printed after that, and it's going to have a different color cover. So if you want to have one of the last remaining uh, red covers with the, with the signature inside the book, then click the link in my bio, and I will also include a custom City of Serpents bookmark and one of my stickers, and that's all I got to say. Take care and have a blessed day. Peace.